Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to another Morales tutorial video. My name is Vasily, I'm your web crew instructor, and today we are going to check the ENS domain resolver from the Morales API. ENS domains provides decentralized naming for wallets, websites, and more. So you can get a personalized Web3 username using your wallet address. So instead of having a wallet address direction, you can have something like this, your username.it, and you can also personalize your avatar. So for today's tutorial, we are going to check if any given address has a ENS domain or not. Morales provide us a cool endpoint called resolve ENS domain, which basically takes as a parameter an address and it returns us the actual ENS domain. At the end, we are going to have something really simple like this. Here I have my ENS domain resolver. Let's put here a wallet address resolve domain and as you can see here this wallet address here is related to the vitalik.it ENS domain and the process to do this is going to be really simple going back to the API reference if we put here the same address and click on try it we are going to get a response like this a simple name in JSON format and it seems we just need 13 lines of code to accomplish this on today's tutorial I'm using react.js on the front end and Django as our Python backend development framework. So let's copy the Python code provided by Morales and give it a try. Here on my Django project, I have an empty script called services.py. Let's paste the code over here. And the only thing we have to provide for now is our API key. So if you don't have a Morales account yet, this is the part of the video for you to hit pause, go to Morales.io, create your free account. Here in the admin panel, you're going to have the access to your API key. So I'm going to copy mine, go back to the code and paste it over here. Let's go to the terminal and try this out. So Python services.py. As I used the same address, well, the response is giving me vitalik.it. We will want to transform this to something more dynamic. So instead of using this address over and over again, let's transform this into a function, which it's going to take the address as a parameter. And with the magic of addition, I have that function ready. So basically I just create a function called resolve ENS domain, and it's going to take the address, as I told you, as a parameter. Finally, for this script, we have our API key here, and storing your API keys into your code constitutes a security risk, especially if you're going to push your code to a code repo like GitHub. So I'm going to transform this API key into an environment variable. And now we can store our API key here on this .m file. If you're going to push your code to a code repo like GitHub, just don't forget to add this to your git ignore. And this is it for this script. This is ready to be used. So on my application views, I'm going to import that script from .services import resolve ENS domain. And here I have a new view called resolve domain. The address parameter is going to come from the front end through this request variable. So I can set up the address like this. Address equal to request dot get dot get address. And now we are ready to use that function. So domain is going to be equal to resolve ENS domain. And we are going to send the parameter as we are just using one parameter. This is it. And this response is going to be a, a Python dictionary. The front end is not going to be able to understand this Python dictionary. So let's instead transform this into a JSON. So JSON domain is going to be equal to JSON.doms domain. And let's return this. Return HTTP response of that JSON domain. For the backend, the only thing left is to take this new view, go to the URLs of the project, and add it over here. Of course, be sure you have imported the views from your project. So, path resolve domain, views dot resolve domain, and as we want to use relative paths on the front end, we are going to give it the same name, resolve domain. Let's save this, and this is all we have to do for the backend. Let's give a change to the front end. On the front end project, it's important to have added a proxy over here pointing to our Django server, as we are testing this locally, it's localhost in the port 8000. And also to connect Django with React, we are going to need Axios. So if you don't have it, just npm install Axios. In the web page, this domain address is attached to a variable called params, which is going to take the address. And this is the actual 
input parameter or function needs. So here I have a function called refresh domain and through Axios, let's connect to that endpoint slash resolve domain question mark. And I need to send the address. The auto completion is good enough to understand what I need. So let's give this a try. And if everything goes well, for now, I just want to have a console.log of this response. So console.log of the response dot data. This refresh domain is going to be triggered every time we push on this resolve domain button. So let's give this a try. I'm going to open my console, paste over here the same address, resolve domain. And here on the console, we have the exact same response we got on the terminal. So the only thing left for us for today's tutorial is to take this response and show it on a card down here. So instead of using a console.log here, I'm going to use this set ENS domain function, which is going to update this ENS domain variable. And the card we want to render is going to use that ENS domain. And as the only parameter this response give us is the name, well, I have here the ENS.name parameter as well. Let's paste here the address, resolve domain, and as I show you at the beginning of the video, we got the actual response. As you can see, this process was really, really easy. And at the end of the day, the only thing you need to accomplish this is this simple script you can use in any context you want with almost no effort. How cool is that? And that was it for today's tutorial. Don't forget all the code for this lesson is on the GitHub repo. So check out the link on the description. And as you are already here, click over here to subscribe to Morales channel, turn on the notifications, and also check out more videos. Thanks for watching till the end and see you on the next occasion.